Crossbows of the Commonwealth by Tricky Ven features in ads a new highly customizable crossbow weapon to the game. Bow types come in a variety of flavors, including framing crossbow upgrades and familiar compound bow designs. Crafting a variety of different powerful bolts for crossbows. Bolts act like arrows, and in addition to sticking out of your enemies hilariously, can sometimes be retrieved. Sweet! Find crossbows in the world like other weapons, or if that's not your thing, grab the optional file on raiders can be spotted carrying crossbows occasionally and may also kill you with them. This is true, I had to find a crossbow by taking out a raider. I got lucky. The crossbow is the most powerful and versatile weapon viable for both beginning and end game play. It is silenced weapon which benefits from taking the Sandman perk. It is a rifle type weapon which benefits from the rifleman perk. Stealthy and sniper players both should find the crossbow to be to their liking. And I have to admit the crossbow is actually pretty legit. Like insanely legit. I didn't even see it coming. I started using the crossbow, crafting my bolts at the chemistry station, which is very important. At first, I didn't know I could craft my own bolts, but now that I knew I could, I start, and I did not regret it one bit. In fact, I my only regret is I didn't have different crossbows for different occasions. I only had one. So you have to modify your crossbow to use certain bolts from what I can tell. Uh, let's see, a flaming crossbow only shoots flaming arrows and so on and so forth. So you need an exploding or explosive crossbow to shoot explosives, I believe. It seems to be kind of linear like that. And not too bad of a thing, but whatever. And I gotta admit, when you get a good kill on someone with a flaming crossbow, their body ignites in the flames and burns right in front of you. It's awesome. Great. It's like the Skyrim perk. Uh, let's see, the ones where you do magic spells and sometimes if you electrocute someone, their body still stays like electrified and it shoots bolts off. Or when you burn them and they just burn into ash in front of you. That's what I'm getting and I'm liking from this mod. So if you like what you see and you're as sadistic as me, taking great pleasure in putting bolts in someone's knee, ass, anus, and or nuts, sphincter, taint, whatever tickles your fancy, and watching them burn or explode into a million pieces, then I believe that this bolt mod is totally for you. I don't know, sometimes I feel like Rambo and then I kill someone with a bolt and then I scream, THE WAR'S NOT OVER! And basically, if you weren't born before the 90s, you wouldn't get that joke. Don't take my word for it. Just watch this delicious collage of endless madness, sick, depraved murdering with this bow. I recall Bethesda like leaving this files in the game or something. I thought they were going to add it as DLC later on, but apparently they didn't. Thank God for modders going through the resources and finding this great weapon and bringing it to life when Bethesda was too lazy to let us have it. Look at him burn. Look at him burn. Oh, yeah. Get him, doggy. Sporty Underwear CBBE Body Slip by Uzmos and Nazar84 is a sporty underwear set of bras and panties with standalone newt replacer versions and without the AWKCR compatibility. Made for the CBBE body includes optional support for body slide, so you can customize the shape in any way imaginable. They were originally made by Nazir84 for Skyrim. I have asked him for permission to convert them, and I'm flattered that he agreed. Please take screenshots and share them with me, slash us. Now these come in a multitude of colors. Well, just a handful, like five. Red, blue, or actually red, blue, and yellow, which is a vault color. Orange, white, and black. And I figured I'd show off a couple of those for you. This is a great alternative if you want to have like the CBBE, but don't want the never nude body with those horrible gigantic grandma panties. Also, I feel a sporty underwear seems more realistic to the situation. Granted, it wouldn't have been made at that time of Fallout because it's like this weird pseudo futuristic 40s, 50s view, but you know, let's suspend disbelief because even the premise itself suspends disbelief. Am I right? The work here is quite impressive. Mauser Family by Kovadanga. The introduction reads as Good day, everyone. Today, from the European Wasteland, I brought to you a scratch made three in one weapon. Let's take a look at the features. Adds the Gviar 98 and the Kozia Mungazanzi. That's what Google Translate says. You have to forgive me, I don't speak German or Hungarian. I barely speak English. Features a lot of modifications available. Nine barrels, four sights, three bayonets, three magazines, three silencers, eight stocks, 27 receivers. The properties of this mod features a 1K, 2K, and 4K texture sets for every weapon. Each weapon has a different texture, custom sounds. I wanted to change the reload sound, but I couldn't. Level list is integrated. To do a merge patch, it's possible that you need to change the change none from zero 
0 to 768 will spawn Advenders, Raiders, Gunners, Super Mutants, and Minutemen. How to get the weapon? Well, it can be gotten from the following ways. There is one Mauser placed in the Sanctuary Basement. That's the best place to find one. Or you can use the console command, and the ID is Mauser98. I found while trying to do the console command, I couldn't get it to work for the life of me. Because, I don't know, maybe I'm just full-blown retarded. But hey, that's just me. My overall consensus of this gun is if you take a good look at this, and I mean a serious look at this weapon, the level of detail and love the mod creator put into this is truly astonishing and a testament to just how amazing the mod community is and can be. I mean, there's just so much detail. Even in the iron sights, it's carved into the metal. The metal flaking is, well, I shouldn't say flaking, but the metal brush, I should say looks right. The wood also has some great incorporation as to colors and textures, which is hard to recreate when you are working with something that isn't actually wood. And I know this myself from painting wood stocks or replicas of wood stocks that were placed on World War II German MG42s and MG32s. And believe me, getting that right sort of look and color variance is just incredibly hard. The Germans love their lacquer. Now you're probably saying to yourself, Gundam, your raiders look amazing. How can they look so good and individual, unique from one another almost? Well, that's because I'm using HD Raider Armor and Raider Overhaul Work in Progress by Mad Max 73. Now this mod, both mods, simply add new HD textures to the Raider mod armor and some of the helmets. He may add more in time. I have my fingers crossed that he does because what he's done so far is amazing. He tried to keep the overall look as close to the concept art of the game as possible. So there is a couple of red stripes and as a whole, it's pretty dark. I've also added simple textures for the Raiders leathers, not HD, to make them fit the look more. Then there's the Raider overhaul that he did. This mod is a work in progress that aims to add more style and diversity to the Raiders of the Commonwealth. I mean, you're going to be fighting them all all the time. This mod adds various headwear armor in the game that appears wilder, more savage, more raider-esque. Also includes the consumables designed to reflect the savagery and carelessness of the raider factions. This mod requires the AWCK mod and nearly everything is CVBE compatible. Every piece including except the raider mod armor retexture is 100% standalone and no vanilla textures have been replaced in any way. Raiders and their dogs in your game will randomly spawn with one of the masks or armor. You may even meet a raider dreadnought up close. That was a very savage fart. Warning this mod rig makes raiders tougher. Duh. <laughs> That's funny. What I tried to achieve here while showing off this mod in all its glory as best I can with the raiders I could find at the time was the attention to detail. The mod authors already stated this was aimed to make raiders more diverse and unique and I felt he did a great job. Even in this area with a subtle touch these raiders slash ghouls spoke in I believe either a German or Russian accent. I'm hoping it's Russian because if it's Russian that was a great touch with the Russian pants. The texture quality is fantastic. Now this is what the game should have looked like in the beginning. The vanilla game I should say. It pops out, it's fresh, it's in your face, it's alive. The textures look as if you were to drag your hand across that body armor. You would need a tetanus shot, it was so rusty. Also the work in the masks, the detail is just fantastic. It's like night and day difference when you look at it. The vanilla versions, to me, look as if something that belonged on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. And this modder has actually gone out of his way to bring Fallout 4's Raiders to the next generation. No more muddled down, pathetic excuses for textures. Now there were textures you could actually look at and have an idea of what this fabric could have been made of. Now this is a work of art. It makes killing raiders better. I know, it's weird to say that, but now it makes the raiders actually stand out and seem less cartoony or less doll-like. Now they actually seem a bit more alive to me. Therefore, killing them will seem to weigh heavier on my conscience than it ever did before. They used to be like whack-a-moles.
Now this is a continuation or version 2 of the M4A1 by Skyrim for the win. Now, I featured his original mod before and I said it was something to keep an eye on because it was going to be better with time and he has certainly delivered thus far. This is a huge leap over his first mod. It's quite impressive, the generational jump in my personal opinion. It's like going from the iPhone 3GS to the iPhone 6. I mean, he just really jumped. The description reads as this mod, though usable, is not complete, and he plans on adding new animations and making the flashlight laser in the M203 and Master Key functional at some point in the future. If this interests you, please track this mod. The mod adds an M4A1 SOP mod to the Fallout 4. It is craftable at the chemistry station and moddable at the weapons workbench, and it also has custom fire sounds, which I will let you know sound fucking great, and let him know if there are any issues because he wasn't 100% sure what the hell he was doing. But don't worry, he did fantastically. You can take that to the bank and then cash it, but not until I get paid or the check will bounce. The following mods are available currently. Receivers, magazines, there's like a standard 30 round, a dual mag, which is my personal favorite, a magazine alternative standard skin to 30 round mags, and the dual drum round to 120 mags, sights, iron sight, front rear, uh, carry handle iron sight, carry handle front sight, EO2 tech sight, 4x zoom scope, and 8x zoom scope. Barrels are various combinations for the following long barrel, short barrel, mastery key, M.203 grenade launcher, which will be great when he adds functionality for that, laser sights, flashlights, rail covers, 4 grips, 4 grips number 2, flash hunters, 1, 2, 3, suppressor, 1, 2, 3. Grips a total of 4 combination stock and pistol grip. Now, basically, if you like the M4A1, this is a mod you'll have to have. It is so clean. It is beautiful to behold. This is only going to get better with time. That's without a shadow of a doubt. This is such a great, great mod. I really do enjoy it. It's, it's too legit to quit, if you ask me. Last but not least is Visual Reload by Pal Durek. Now, I'm surprised that this mod isn't more popular than it is. Have you ever noticed that when everyone reloads their weapons, they eject their magazine only to disappear? This mod, the ejected magazines will drop to the ground and stay there. It also affects the ejected shells when reloading the double barrel shotguns or the revolvers. I recommend using shell rain, so do I, so that you can get the full benefit of this. Now, I don't know why this mod isn't more popular. In fact, it's brilliant. I love it. And as the mod author states, it's best used with shell rain. So if you don't have shell rain or this mod, I suggest you get them because it's immersion right there, full-blown immersion. The only downside is that this mod doesn't work with custom magazines from custom weapons that were modded into the game. Hopefully the mod author can somehow change that, but who knows if it'll be possible. But right now, it only works with vanilla. Well, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you as always for tuning into my channel. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, even if you hate me. I have a Twitter and a Twitch account, and I'd like to Twitter and Twitch you all day in a no homo sort of way though. You know what I mean. No, oh, man, this came out poorly. All right, I'm getting out of here. I've been editing far too long.